Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingileli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we'll be answering evolution exam questions, um, specifically section A questions, that is your multiple choice, um, terminology and also column 1, column 2 questions. So if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please kindly hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with your classmates and your schoolmates and also please comment down below. All right, let's go through these questions quickly. Like I said, um, this is obviously from the topic evolution, which is tested evolution, which is tested in paper two. This is a very big topic. So let's look at a few questions here. Uh, we'll do six multiple choice questions. So we are having the first question 1.1. African apes and humans are similar. African apes and humans are similar. They both have what? Um, you are given four options there. Uh, the correct one will be B. Opposable thumbs and bare fingertips. That will be the correct one. Okay, my pen is very thick. Let me just reduce. Okay. Uh, 1.2. Variation within a species is introduced through what? Random mating and asexual reproduction, mitosis and random um, fertilization. Definitely no. Random mating and random fertilization, mitosis and meiosis. The answer is definitely C. The variation within a species is introduced by random mating and random fertilization. 1.3, we have a graph. The graph below shows the percentage similarity, percentage similarity between the human DNA and DNA of some species in some species of African apes. So you are given the names of the species uh, or are the type of African ape on the x-axis and on the y-axis you are given the percentage is basically the percentage um, similarity to human DNA. Now the question says which one of the following phylogenetic trees best represents the information in the graph? So you'll obviously look at the percentage similarity for each type of African ape and then you'll try and match it with the phylogenetic tree, the trees that you are given here. You use all your um, ways or rules or methods of um, analyzing a phylogenetic tree. And I think the answer for this one, come on, ancestor. Okay, so that will definitely be C. Okay, remember guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, you can type your question uh, in the comment section and I will gladly respond to it. If there's a specific question paper or topic that you need me to answer, also indicate that in the comment section and I will gladly record a video and post it for you. 1.4. Who formulated the law of use and disuse? Easy peasy stuff. That is D. Lamak. You are given... A phylogenetic tree in 1.5. Study the diagram below. Which present day finch is least related to all others? This is obviously going to be the answer. Let's see. Yes, vegetarian tree finch D. Last question for multiple choice. Different frogs, uh, which all belong to genus, you are given the name of the genus, are found in the same forest. The graph below shows their mating activity, the names of the different frogs, um, the time of the year, and their mating activity this side. So you're obviously going to use this graph to, um, to get that. So based on the information, what kind of oscillation mechanism, that's what they're asking, what kind of oscillation mechanism is most likely keeping the bullfrog and wood frog as separate species? Which ones? Wood frog and bull frog as separate species. You are given four options there. And uh, the correct one will be C. 
reproductive oscillation through breeding at different times of the year. Through breeding at different times of the year. Bullfrog around July, June, July. Wood frog around um, April. So that's obviously different times of the year. Now let's look at biological terms. There's quite a, a few of them. I think we have about 23. But we know this is a big topic, guys. Uh, evolution is a very big topic. And you need to spend time studying and analyzing all the different concepts here. Um, there is no winging it in the exam. So there's absolutely no winging it in this topic. You do need to sit down and study, write down your own notes, uh, familiarize yourself with the diagrams, go through previous question papers and understand um, the style of questioning when it comes to evolution. Very important. Um, the investigations there, the information about species, same with human evolution and all of that. You cannot wing it here. You really do need to study. I've already posted a number of evolution um, videos, basically where I'm answering previous evolution question papers. So do check them out also. All right. Biological terms. Give the correct biological term for each of the following descriptions. Write only the term next to the question number. Now, make sure, guys, that when you are studying, you also learn the spelling of these uh, biology words, the, sci the life sciences um, terminology. Please make sure that you learn the correct spelling. I know there is a rule that says if the word, um, when you pronounce it, sounds the same as the one that we're looking for, as long as it doesn't mean anything else in biology, I know that. But... Just trust me. Try and learn the correct spelling. Trust me on this one. You can be penalized. Um, yeah, I don't want to um, say a lot. We sign papers and certain things. Um, but yeah, just, just try. Okay, so 2.1, a type of variation where there is a range of phenotype for the same characteristic, continuous variation. Conti continuous variation um, present day distribution of living organisms biogeography and remember guys you should also be answering these questions on your side feel free to pause the video and answer the questions on your side please the selection of desirable characteristics by humans and um, that is artificial selection uh, t this is the keyword artificial selection or you could have said selective breeding it's also correct selective breeding the process whereby new species um, are formed, that is speciation, easy peasy stuff. All right, remember to like the video, guys. Share the link with your friends, schoolmates, classmates. We want everyone to do well, guys, um, in their exams. We want everyone to do well. Okay, the type of variation in a population with no intermediate phenotype. So that is discontinuous um, variation. Uh, looking for space, so this will be disco genius uh, variation. An explanation describing evolution is consisting of long phases of little change, alternating with short phases of rapid change. Easy piece of stuff that is punctuated equilibrium. Punctu weighted equilibrium the permanent disappearance of species from earth that is extinction extinction um, an explanation for something that has been observed in nature and which can be supported by facts laws and tested hypothesis that is theory definitely Organisms with similar characteristics that are able to interbreed randomly and produce fertile offsprings, species. Structures in different organisms that have similar basic plan, um, which suggests that they share common ancestor. Um, 
homologous structures. Homologous structures. The process the process that enable organisms with desirable characteristics to survive and reproduce in that particular environment, natural selection. Remains of life forms preserved in rocks, ice and dried sap trees, fossils. Um, change in, in the characteristics of species over time, biological evolution. Uh, large pointed teeth in African apes that are used for tearing food, canines. Um, having a protruding jaw, prognathus. Um, I skipped, I skipped a question, okay. Uh, I'll go back to it now. Prognathus. Uh, okay. Um, the part of the skull that houses the brain, that is the cranium. A diagrammatic representation showing possible evolutionary relationships between different species. Phylogenetic tree. Phylogenetic tree. Not phylogenic. Most learners make a mistake of saying phylogenic. Phylogenetic tree. Or you can say cladogram. So that's six and nine. That's the same thing. Cladogram. That's an M at the end. The opening in the base of the skull through which the spinal cord passes. Um, foramen magnum. Foramen magnum. Um, a family to which humans belong. Um, community. Um, an upright posture and walking on two legs by pedalism. By pedalism. The type of vision shared by apes and humans that allows for depth perception, stereoscopic vision. Stereoscopic vision the act of walking on all four limbs quadrupedal quadrupedal that's it for this video we've covered multiple choice um terminology oh there's actually column one column two sorry yes let's do this um remember guys here they are saying um please 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 let's read and understand how we need to answer this question very important indicate whether each of the descriptions in column one there is column one applies to either a only from the options in column two is it a only that is correct b only that is correct or both options are correct or none of the options are correct now this is the instruction guys when you answer in your answer sheet you will then say 3.1 for 3.1 is it a only that is correct b only both a and b or none there's a word only there why are you not indicating in a test that that basically means you don't follow instructions so if your correct answer is a only you write a only if it's b only there if it's both a and b both a and b and some learners normally write for an answer that is both a and b they write a comma b this is correct you're not gonna this is sorry this is incorrect you're not gonna get a mark for that so let's follow the instructions okay 3.1 a group of similar organisms that occur in a particular place at a particular time with the int, uh, ability to interbreed uh, that is a only so you answer a only the manipulation of biological processes to satisfy human needs Biogeography, biotechnology, the answer is B only. So you write B only. Fossils found in South Africa, um, it's actually both A and B. So you write it like this, guys, both A and B. Don't just write both, like both what? Let's show the, 
the markers that we follow instructions. Let's show them, guys. Let's impress the markers, please. 3.4, uh, long and narrow pelvis. Um, that will be A only. A only. Mechanisms of reproductive oscillation. Um, this will probably be both. Both A and B. Fossil evidence found in Ethiopia. Uh, mm -mm. Not B. It will be A only. A only. 